Hi, Prosperity Team. It's Dr. Money. Remember, you're on the Prosperity Team if you are listening to this video. We always take a few moments at the beginning of the video to breathe together. Ohana, Ohana is a word that means family of breathers. And so we have become a family of prosperity breathers, abundance breathers, <laughs> abundance ambassadors through this exercise that we do at the beginning of each video. Let's go. Imagine that we are in a circle of well-being, a circle of light, and our imagination makes it so. It is so that we are now stepping into this wondrous prosperity circle of life and well-being. And as we begin to breathe in and out consciously and continue to breathe in and out as I speak, we breathe in the life force we breathe in well-being. We breathe in abundance. And as we exhale, we exhale our intention for all others to be at peace, for all others to live in prosperity, for all others to live in health, for all others to live in harmony. So we breathe this in for ourselves and we breathe it out for others. We're giving and receiving energetically. It's like a prayer for goodness. Isn't it great just to luxuriate in the breath and take a few moments to be fully present and to be giving and receiving this great prosperity. Prosperity makes a grand promise to us, a prosperity promise, and we can turn it in anytime we want to and experience prosperity. Recently, I talked about getting in a prosperity predicament. Well, I got in a prosperity predicament last night. It, it, it's important to know that we can be prosperous thinking people and have a good prosperity consciousness and still get triggered. Last night, I decided to look up the size bag that I was going to be able to take on Spirit Airlines. I had bought, but you have to buy everything separately, so I bought the bag thing. So when I looked at it, it looked like a tiny, tiny bag. So I wanted to change and have a bag that was checked because that's actually less expensive and and um, not carry on a bag. Well, you couldn't do that. So I spent 85 more dollars to be able to check a bag, which would be okay, except for the fact that I measured my <laughs> bag that I had that I could have taken that I'd already paid for and it would have fit. So I really didn't need to do anything. I was okay the way it was. And last night when I thought about this, oh my gosh, this bag isn't going to be big enough for me to carry 10 inches wide and 22 inches long. It's not going to be big enough for me to carry my clothing for a two-week trip. Uh, so I, I, I felt myself really getting uptight last night. It was like a trigger, just a fear. It was really weird. So I know how these things happen. I am familiar with triggers. So I started breathing and went to bed. I got up. That's when I made the purchase that I didn't need to purchase. But in the process, what I did was just stay present. I got in the prosperity circle. I asked that I be taken care of. Evidently, either I wasn't listening or it just wasn't in the cards because I did make that purchase that I shouldn't have made. The important thing here is really not about whether everything went smoothly or not. The important thing is to regain my sense of abundant living and prosperity consciousness in spite of all the prosperity mishaps that occur in life. So you want to join with me. It doesn't matter how much money you have or do not have. We all will have prosperity mishaps in which we use our money poorly or we feel like we've been taken advantage of. Something bad is going to happen. Um, I was in on a trip to India one time and I bought uh, all this jewelry and it was not anything like I would do because I'm, I'm pretty much of a penny bencher and I ended up buying like $3,000 worth of jewelry. The idea was to resell it, 
Well, I think that I might have been drugged in the shop because they brought this tea, and since that's something that's so very unlike me to buy all this jewelry to sell, um, I ended up trying to figure out what to do. And uh, one day I went down, I was staying in this um, kind of village-like area in New Delhi, and I went down to get some juice, and I was being very mindful about the juice. I was smelling it, I was being present, I was drinking it. And then and this man sat down beside me and he said, you look, how are things going with you? And I said, well, um, things are going fine. And he said, you look a little somber. And I said, well, I'm just contemplating the loss of $3,000 right here. And he started talking to me and uh, but the, the thing about it is, is even though I was concerned about the $3,000 and the jewelry and just the whole debacle, I didn't want it to spoil my trip. I didn't want it to be a big deal, and I wasn't going to let it be a big deal. Well, this man befriended me. I ended up going to his shop. He had a motorcycle shop, and he had a friend that was a lawyer, and he had his girlfriend that was there, and I went there and visited him every <laughs> every day and finally I just ended up uh, it was so simple I just ended up calling MasterCard and they said ah, no problem we'll just take it off mail it back to them <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of hard to mail something in India so what I did was I just happened to meet this guy that was selling a rug and I told him about it and he said oh I've got to help you mail it you'll never be able to mail it by yourself so he took me to to the uh, to the mail up to the post office and I mailed the jury back and then he asked me for some extra money I said well what is that for and he said that's to bribe the post office people if you don't bribe them you're just never going to get there so I paid some money and uh, and it was shipped off and I hope it got there I don't know whether it did or not but MasterCard took it off and it all ended up well and it, I'm so happy that I didn't let it spoil my trip that I continued to live abundantly even though I felt ripped off even though it wasn't a good thing that happened, but I want to be money proof. I, I don't want to let uh, financial problems or thoughts get in the way of the good life for me. So I want, let's all see if we can work toward being money proof. So uh, th there will be prosperity mishaps. There will be times when the emotions are triggered, but as soon as we can get back through those and back into a sense of peace and prosperity, then the best. We don't have to. We don't need to hang on to it and tell gossips and tell stories about the bad stuff that happens to us over and over again. I've seen people tell stories about bad things that are happening, and they're like just with glee when they're telling it, like. They're really enjoying it when they're talking about pain and mayhem and, and mishap. And I, I just, I do enjoy telling that story, but I enjoy telling that story because I know that it, it didn't mess me up. It just became a part of my life story. And that's okay. This is Dr. Money. I hope you have a good night tonight. And remember, for sure, that I love you.